Hello everyone and welcome back to LIA, also known as Life in the Apocalypse. I recently got a note in my last crate of supplies that some of my listeners don't know how to explain our situation to their children. Why we were all cooped up inside, hiding underground, or way out into the country, like me. So, you all know I like stories, so listen up. Long ago, I, like many others, was forced to leave my home due to an experiment gone wrong. A horde of angry beings called mossies spread throughout the city, flying around and consuming blood, their bites containing a disease worse than malaria, which was a disease spread by these things called mosquitoes, and they are now the least of our problems. Mossies killed billions and forced the citizens of the city to flee. However, what was found was that there was a potent repellent gas that could go against the mossies, and it comes out of cow's but it's called methane and is mainly present way out into the country where I live. It's not all bad though, because if it never happened, I wouldn't be here talking to you living an independent life in the wilderness. It's toughened me up and forced me to work hard. And led me to something that I love to do, which is talking and writing. Anyways, enough of the downer. As some of you know, I broadcast from my bed. And I was thinking to myself last night when I was trying to fall asleep that it's really nice to have a place that's all your own. A sanctuary of sorts. When I'm sad or doubting things, I retreat to my bed. I think it's really good to have a place like that. That no matter where you are, I hope you find sanctuary in a spot that you really like. So. In celebration of all the little nooks and crannies that bring us joy, this is an ode to my bed. A cream-coloured mattress with bouncy springs that sometimes break, or leave craters in my place of slumber, you fill me with joy and comfort, acting like the hugs I left behind. Encasing me in warmth when the world goes cold, protecting my head flooded with poetry, your corner is my favourite, you hold many ideas, a bit of mine, my place of comfort, thank you. This is Avery Lipwack, until next time, have fun in the end times. Oh, to my bed, what bed? So this is Psalm chapter 34 verses 4 to 7 and um, even if you're not a Christian I implore you to just think of these words as words of encouragement. Here it is. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out and the Lord heard him and saved him out of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him. And to us. He hasn't forgotten us. <laughs> um. As always, this is Avery Litwack. Until next time, have fun in the end times. Let's
this next time. My gosh. She can hide behind her butterfly bands to the holes and the cracks begin to show Because as beautiful as butterfly wings can be They simply a facade That was Butterfly Bangs inspired by the impromptu cutting of my fringe by the way, shout out to Rick. You know who you are. I know you're listening. Can you stick to my list of supplies next time? I mean, I know... Seems like we're getting some interference. Um... One second, I'm just going to check outside... Um, okay, I'm going to open up the call so you can tell me if you can hear me just um call if you can hear me everything's working okay you can all hear me right <laughs> Is anyone there? Hello? Um. Well, as always, this is Avery Litwack. Until next time, have fun in the end times.
should have a good reason why. Mmm. -hmm.